joining us now <laughs> is uh, is our winner for the 23rd district. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. It's an honor, and, and thank you to uh, everybody in Kern County who uh, either voted, just voted. If you voted for me or not, uh, I thank you for participating in the process. Absolutely. Voting, uh, a lot of people come out to vote. Now, now that you have won and you've seen everything that kind of unfolded. Crazy um, night, right? Unbelievable. <laughs> what, is it, what is it like for you now? Now you're going to go back to D with a Republican Senate, a Republican Congress, and a Republican President. I have never seen that because when I went in, we were in the minority, mm -hmm. uh, fought to get the majority in the House, then to the Senate, and now finally to the White House. I think it was a wake-up call. I, I truly believe, and I was talking to our new president-elect, Donald Trump, last night, um, he heard a voice that others were not listening to across this country. And we have to make sure that it's answered, that this country changes. It's no longer the status quo, that we can get America working again economy and uh, growth solve so many problems in America and that's the frustration this mid our middle class we are worth less than we were eight years ago and that's a frustration that I think came out in this election that finally someone well, heard and it. a lot of that was because you started to see um, even political leaders not sure should we support Donald Trump or not do you see when you go back uh, next week that you're going to start seeing more alignment? Oh, I, I think I started seeing that last night. You know? yeah. um, it was interesting. My conversation with uh, Donald, he was thanking me because I always stayed with him. I said from the very beginning, I will support whoever is the Republican mm -hmm. nominee. I was a delegate for him and then worked. And don't you think that's forward. how it should be? I do. I do. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's why I carried out the way I believe you keep your word. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's the process that should happen. And I know, I know campaigns are competitive. I know people have difference of opinion. But when the election's over, the greatness of America is when we should unite. These problems are big. They're not unattainable. We can solve them. Mm -hmm. um, but we need to work together to be able to make that happen. Well, in his victory speech last night, he said it's uh, time for America to bind the wound of division and time to come together as one. Um, he's been very divided in his campaign and a lot of uh, his own party, you know, against him. Uh, how do you get those, you know, how do you get the Republicans who are against him kind of on board? And do you think that division is going to... I, I think that, I think that's together. reported more than it actually is. He could not have won the presidency if it was as divided as the media tries to make I it. agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and what happens is you usually highlight one person or others, but there was a lot of division on the Democrat side, otherwise Hillary would not have lost. Mm -hmm. um, but the country is divided. That's the real question. We should get beyond party, and we're all Americans first, and we should say, these are our challenges, let's face them together, and let's find a common ground that solves Well, let me ask you that. What, what do you think is the biggest di divided issue then uh, for the people of the United States? Is it immigration? Is it um, economy? Is it health care? I, I would say it's jobs and health care. Well, first, the country felt very divided when it came to Obamacare. Yeah. That they thought if you, they were promised you had your doctor, you could keep it, your premiums would go down, they've gone up, you have less choices. So everything they were promised, it almost felt like I was lied to in the process. So I think part of this election was about repealing Obamacare mm -hmm. and having a system that is fundamentally different. Uh, the economy and growth in the economy, right? There's so much regulation and it's coming from government. Instead of helping the economy grow with businesses, they're regulating it down where you have less options. Mm. And they're just totally wiping out entire industries at a time. And they are not elected. These are bureaucrats, and where's the check and balance? I think America wants to see their government effective, efficient, and accountable. Can't Trump do it? You know, one person can't do it alone. That's why people have to join together to make it happen. And uh, I was talking to him last night, talked to um, the new vice president, Mike Pence. He'll be heading up part of the transition. I'm gonna go right after this, talk to all the committee chairs and to our conference, and start planning so we can work together. I've been reaching out across the aisle this morning on ways that we can work together, um, have Democrats included as well. But at the end of the day, we have to put America first and solve our problems. Now you said you called Trump and he just answered the phone. He's very, it seems like very easily accessible. You know what's interesting? Is that, uh, important? <laughs> is that important for the president to be, you know? You know, he doesn't easily. even answer and say Donald or anything else. He just picks up and says, hello, Kevin. Oh. And, I, and I don't talk to anybody else, but this is the way it's been for the entire relationship. And do you think that's important? Yes, I mean... As president, because, I, and no knock against President Obama, but I've heard from someone that sometimes he's not as easy, ex, easily accessible to Congress as other presidents have been. I, I would tell you, I haven't worked with that many presidents as elected. I've known a lot of them. Um, but everyone has told me, 
if you looked at Bush or Clinton, they would have members from Congress down all the time. President Obama never. It's almost at times he seems like an introvert. I mean, he wants to work on things, but it in a different happen. manner. And that, that, that's a different personality mm -hmm. trait. But I really think if you want people to join together, the more you include them, the more but, they uh, are willing to be a part of it. We, yeah. we gotta get ready to go with you, but you know, you said uh, he just picks up the phone. Can, can you just call him right now? Let's just, let's just stump it right now. Can let's put call? him on speaker. I do not want to do that. Yeah. Put him on speaker. No, 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 Here's your chance. It's 11 o'clock. I talked to him last night. He had a big night. Let's let him uh, oh, enjoy Kevin. have a little sleep in there. Right? <laughs> All right. Well, Kevin, hey, congratulations on your victory. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, and, and it's, it's actually, it, is, it is an honor to serve and an unbelievable place to represent. Let me just say it, too. Uh, it's good to hear that you're already working right now. You, you've already started working on that next election, um, doing your job getting people to work across the aisle. That's Look, great to hear. When the election's over, now it's time to get to work. Exactly. Yeah. All right, thank you, Congressman McCarthy. Thank you so much. Take care.